What's up guys, this is iTweaks here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you a brand new tweak that's actually still in beta stages but you can still download this if you add the repo that I'm putting on the screen right here. I'll also put a link in the description below for you guys to just copy and paste that into your sources. And what this tweak is called is Swipe Expander. Now this is a really cool tweak. It's going to allow you to swipe down and up on keys either to input text or do an action like cut, copy, and paste. So you can see right here, if we go into our settings, I'm gonna show you the settings panel first before I actually show you the tweak. And we're gonna scroll down here to Swipe Expander. Now you can see right up here at the top, this is where you're gonna edit the key. So this is where you're going to set what each key does when you swipe up or when you swipe down on it. Right below that, you're gonna show letter case, which is basically adding in that tweak called showcase that I've showed you a couple of times in my top tweak videos, which I really like. And basically what this tweak does, or what show letter case toggle does, is it either shows a capital letter when you're going to type a capital letter on your keyboard, or if you're gonna type a lowercase letter, then it's gonna show a lowercase letter. So you can also see right below here, we have show names on keys. And this is going to be very helpful for when you set up your, your new keys in Swipe Expander, just so it gives you an idea or it reminds you of what each key does. And I'll show you kind of what that means here in just a second. Right below here, this is for the names on your keys. So if you show the names on your keys, you have this toggled on, then this is where you can change the opacity, the size, and the position. Now I've found that the actual defaults are pretty good and I haven't actually changed them that much. But you can see right up here, if we go into edit keys, this is where you're going to set up all your brand new keys. So you can see that we have all these set up right here. So for E, I have email. Uh, a, I have select all, Z is undo, X, cut, C, copy, V, paste, and B is BRB. Now, if we just tap on one of these, you'll see exactly what it does. So we tapped on the T, you can see T right here. So let's just say that we were going to uh, say this was hello. We're going to name this hello. So just type in hello. And then for the swipe up action, we're going to insert text. And we're just going to make it say simply hello. And then right below here, this is where you would put either a different insert text option or you can change the action right here. So these are all the actions that you can set up. You have select, select all, cut, copy, paste, undo, redo, delete forward, delete word, dismiss autocorrect, and dismiss keyboard. So you can set this up however you'd like. So let's go ahead and accept this and there's no respring required. We'll hit back. And now I'm gonna show you some of the keys that I've actually set up. So let's go into our notes app right here and let's select all of this. So I've actually uh, set up A to select all if I swipe up, as you can see right there. And let's say that I wanted to cut all of that. So I just cut it with the X, and if I wanted to paste it, then I would just swipe up on the V to paste it. So it's as simple as that. Now I also set up my E for email. So if I swipe up, that's going to input my email, Cody at yahoo.com. Now what if we have a uh, personal email and a business email? Well, swipe down and we have our business email right there. Now you can see right above that that we actually have a autocorrect. Now you can set this up to dismiss the autocorrect. You can set up a key and I've actually done that with the space bar. So, and I did this just because sometimes it's hard to hit that X. Sometimes you accidentally click on the word and it autocorrects it when you don't want it to. So just swiping up on the space bar dismisses that completely. So it's very easy to use. It's very seamless into your keyboard and this works really well for me. I haven't had any issues with it so far. So let me know what you guys think about this new tweak swipe expander in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you want to see more of my videos, then go ahead and subscribe. All right, guys, until next time, this is iTweaks with iPhoneHacks.com.